Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today, I'm going to show you how I make buttercream frosting. All you're going to need are two sticks of butter that's equivalent to one cup. And try to make sure that it's softened because we're going to beat it up. Now, I wasn't as patient, so mine is a little bit stiff, but that's all right. We're going to work our way through it. Now, you're going to take your electric mixer and you're going to beat the butter until it is very fluffy and almost white in color. That's because you're getting some air into it and you're going to just make it. It's just going to be a really nice fluffy butter. That's the basis of our frosting. We're also going to need some confectioner sugar, or powdered sugar rather. We're going to need some vanilla, and you're going to need just a little bit of milk. Now it's going to take four to five minutes uh, beating the butter until you get it exactly the way it should be. So be patient with it. You'll probably have to scrape the bowl a couple of times. But that's all right. So remember, we're looking at four or five minutes of beating the butter until it is nice, light, and fluffy, and lighter in color. I think you can kind of see that it's starting to get a little bit light. Now, I'm going to take my uh, spatula and I'm going to scrape down the sides. It's not quite there yet where I want it, but I want to make sure that I scrape down the sides of the bowl so that everything gets incorporated. Because the fluffier the butter is, the lighter your buttercream frosting will be. And the more volume it has. Now you're going to need three cups of confectioners or powdered sugar. And I like to sift my powdered sugar, but that's up to you. You can do it if you want to. If not, that's fine. That's just my personal preference. Now, I'm not going to show you, but I'm probably just going to scrape this down one more time. And I'm also going to add a little vanilla further on, a couple of teaspoons. I won't show you that part, but trust me, some vanilla goes in this buttercream frosting. Now, I placed my sifter, uh, my, my little sifter there, over the top of my bowl. And I'm just going to sift my powdered sugar one cup at a time. You can do this all at once if you want over using a different bowl or you can do it this way if you want to and like I said if you don't want to sift the sugar that's fine that's entirely up to you. The important thing is that you add your powdered sugar to the uh, creamed butter one cup at a time. Don't try to add it all at once. Uh, for one thing it kind of makes a mess when you turn on your mixer and another thing it just makes it much easier when you when you uh, add your mixer to it. So I'm going to blend that in and I'm going to mix it in really, really well. Now, I will do this two more times so that two more cups of sugar, uh, powdered sugar, is added to the frosting mix. I won't show you that because you just know. Now, I've already added my vanilla, which you didn't see, and I'm adding my milk just a tablespoon at a time. You do that so that you don't add too much, because if you add too much liquid, you're going to have to add more powdered sugar. So I just actually added probably right around a tablespoon or so, not very much. 
Now I've got my frosting all mixed up. I'm going to scrape the sides again because I want to just really, really make sure that it's mixed extremely well and it's light and fluffy like I want it to be. Some people think that's over mixing, but trust me, if you get that butter nice and fluffy and creamy, it makes a huge difference in your buttercream frosting. Now, I baked some cupcakes and I used my recipe for yellow cake. I'll, pu I'll put that in the description box below and a link to that so you can go to that and make that for yourself. Very easy cupcakes to make. And I've got my my um, frosting ready to go. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can put it on with a knife, frost your cupcakes that way, or you can put some in a piping bag if you have it, or I just used a plastic bag. And for demonstration purposes, I just filled up a little sandwich bag. I cut a hole in the corner. I cut the corner off so that I can uh, put the frosting on my cupcakes. So I'm going to do a couple of those for you, and you can see how easy that is to do. You can get as fancy as you like, but this is just how I do it. I like to keep things simple. Doesn't that look delicious? It does look delicious because it is delicious. Now, don't worry about the ingredients for the frosting. I will put that in the description box below. I'll put the recipe there for you so you'll have it for future use. And there's the second one done. See how easy that is? I didn't have any special tools or equipment. Just a sandwich bag. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to frost a cupcake. Put an ample amount of frosting on the knife, or if you have an offset spatula, that's fine. And just apply it to the top of the cupcake. Now, it's easier to turn the cupcake than it is to try to turn the knife around the cupcake. Does that make sense to you? And that way you get an ample amount of frosting on there. And actually, you can frost uh, quite a few cupcakes very quickly. These are so good. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And because everybody needs to know how to make buttercream frosting. And you have to know that I just absolutely appreci every, appreciate every single one of you. And if I can do this, believe me, you can do this. All right? Don't they look good? And you know what? As always, just remember that little is much when God is in it. Okie doke. I love ya, and I will talk to you later. Bye.